I think there's so much, there's so much wasted time in the dugout because players don't even understand that when they're in the dugout, it's not the social club. There's so many things that's going on out there. I tell my guys and I like to tell them, hey guys, listen, look, pay attention, stop moving. What's going on out there? Did you notice how the pitcher, when he throws his fastball, he indicates that he's throwing a fastball? Notice what his elbow is doing. Because now when he shows the curveball, this is what I picked up. When he shows the curveball, he really digs in his glove, then that raises his elbow. So you can get a tip from the dugout. What else we learn is whenever the catcher, he's lazy, whenever he's going to it, he's dropping to his knees to throw it back. And it might be between innings, but we never know. It could be a tip. Now I want to put on a delay steal. Why? Because if he's dropping to his knees to throw it back, it'll be an opportune time for us to get the second scoring position. You can watch the infielders when the game is on, boom, lights are on, the middle infielders. They're not moving and backing up the pitcher. That might be another time for a delay. When the pitcher comes set, right, the pitcher comes set, we might be able to notice from the dugout, he's 1-1000, 2-1000. So when you get the first base, we got it. Now we have an edge on the team. Why? Because we're paying attention to the dugout. Now you can talk and have a great time just like they do in the big leagues, but they do it paying attention having that soft focus and making sure they're paying attention to the field. So it's very important the dugout is where you can gain an edge on the competition.